Audley Harrison arrived in Manchester last night for his final preparations for Saturday's WBA heavyweight title fight against David Hay. Our man Craig Slater is in Manchester for us. Craig. Thanks very much. You join me in Audley Harrison's team hotel and there is a, a bit of a, a town country contrast uh, between the two fighters in terms of where they're staying in the run-up to the fight itself. Uh, David Hay, he's uh, making a very dramatic entrance in Manchester a little bit later on this evening. He's, he's going to arrive in town via helicopter, but as you say, yes, the Harrison camp uh, drove up here last night en masse. There's, there's 15 of them all together, and David Hay, he's staying right in the centre of town, but uh, the Harrison team, they're out here in the countryside in, in Worsley, uh, just a few miles outside uh, Manchester itself. But Shadid Saluki is the head trainer, and uh, you've been, you know, you've been all over. You know, you're a big bear for most of the most of the training camp down in London for a couple of weeks. But uh, bring us right up to date uh, with how Audley is. Is he getting a bit mean and moody now as we're getting close? Oh, he's getting yeah. He's he's ready. He's mean right now. He's on edge. Uh, reality has really set in that we can really fight in a matter of days now. So the training is over with. The trash talking is over with, and we're ready to get to business. Yeah. So you turned down a city centre hotel. Audley did not want to stay in the centre of Manchester. You're out here in the country. Is that better for him to, to get his kind of mind right? Well, he, he really didn't want to be around a, a lot of people. You know, he wanted to just want to stay focused, and you know, he probably felt that being around a lot of people would have kind of taken him away from his focus. So, and I agree. You know, come what 11:45 on the 13th. Oh, we're going to party. <laughs> Fair enough. But there are quite a few of you here, uh, including Audley's wife and his little daughter, Ariella. Um, are you worried about that at all? Is, is, are they the right kind of people to, to have around close to a big fight? No, I don't, I don't worry about it at all. Sometimes it, it works in, uh, in, in the favor because, you know, he's around his family and I want him to take his mind off the fight right now, you know, and kind of relax. And having his daughter around, his wife around, especially his daughter, he loves her, she's adored. And, you know, just playing with her and away from the guys, and, yeah. and it takes his mind off the fight. Yeah. But maybe if it was a younger fighter, maybe that would be the kind of thing you wouldn't it want to happen. On, it depends on the fighter. Yeah. You know, some fighters you have to just keep away from women, period. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they can't handle it. But Ali is mature now. You know, he's mm. a man, he's a happily married man, he knows what he needs to do, mm. you know, and he, he's doing it. Okay. Uh, we heard at length on Sky Sports News yesterday from, from Mike Tyson who's uh, he's taken a look at you know both fighters you know recent fights that kind of thing he had some interesting things to say uh, he said with regard to you know David Hay he thought the way he kind of handles himself in the ring is suited to dealing with southpaws now how much have you worked without going into detail how much have you worked on the defensive side of this you know heading into this fight from all these points of view November the 13th you will see I'm not going to give it up right now what we've worked on mm. you know but come November the 13th you're going to see a different Otley mm. uh, and David Hay going to see a different Otley mm. they really don't know what to prepare for mm. you know if they watch any tapes of Otley he's not the same mm. but David Hay is still the same yeah. okay but uh, the other thing he said was that and that's good news for you guys if it, if it comes to pass is that David Hay will get hit in this fight he thinks he will get hit by the left hand but potentially the right hand could be the weapon for Audley Harrison um, and you know you think if, 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 if Audley lands it's good night David I think I'd say that up in Big Bear everyone's talking about the left hand but he has a right hand as well and he's gonna get hit with both hands okay but how is Audley's head I mean speaking to his old amateur trainer Tony Burns at, at the Repton Club who you know was that a key figure in Audley's development over the years? He says, well, yes, Audley can do this, but his head has to be right. In terms of managing him in, in the run-up to this, what have you been trying to work on just to, to make sure he's in the right place? Like I said before, it was a match made in heaven for Audley and I to get together. And his head is right. You know, he knows what he can do now better than ever. His confidence level, there's no doubt in his mind what he's here to do. And that's destiny, to become heavyweight champion. Like you tell you, no doubt. If is not even an option when is November the 13th. Okay. Well, if there's been a war of words as well between Audley and David a little bit, uh, you and Adam Booth have, have exchanged a few comments in, in the run-up to this. It's been good entertaining stuff, but I think their, their fitness conditioners got in on the act recently, Ruben Tabarez. Now, he says um, old school can't beat new school or something along those lines. What do well, you make of that? That's, that's very interesting. You know, he's <laughs> a fitness coach, I think a track star, right? trying to achieve a gold medal or make the Olympic team. I don't know if he's made it or not, or made that team, or if he ever done anything in track. And now all of a sudden he's become an expert in boxing and saying that 
there's no room for old school in the 21st century, to me, it's an old statement. <laughs> you know, it's better to be thought of, of as a fool than to open your mouth and remove move all doubt <laughs> and that's something he did because he don't know anything about boxing okay and all of a sudden he's talking okay thank you very much Shadid yes fighting talk from Shadid Saluki but uh, I tell you what we'll be doing our own version uh, of Sky Sports News Mr. and Mrs. Uh, in the next hour because we will be speaking live to Audley Harrison and his wife Rachel mm. Looking forward to Mr. and Mrs. Uh, don't forget, you can see the big fight from 8 p.m. Saturday on Sky Box Office HD and on Sky 3D. For more information, please call 08442 410 888. Say nothing. <laughs> <laughs>